Going to Alaska is an amazing adventure for the whole family. We're so excited you've chosen to leave from Seattle. It's important though that you don't forget your passport. Your ship will stop in Canada, likely Victoria. You won't be allowed to board without that passport, so make sure everyone in the family has one. You can arrive at the terminal in your family car, a taxi, a cruise line bus, or take the shuttle from the parking lot. Either way, it's just really easy. If you arrive in a family car, follow the signs to the cruise parking lot if you need to park. Otherwise, follow the signs that say, to terminal. If you're leaving your car for the week, a complimentary shuttle will get you and your bags to the terminal. The shuttle ride is about five minutes. You can book your parking online at the Port of Seattle website, or you can pay the day you arrive. If you arrive in a taxi, the driver knows exactly how to get you to the entrance. He'll get you right to the front of the terminal. Same goes for shuttles or cruise line buses. Everyone has easy access to the front door. Once you arrive, you can unload your luggage. And if you need an extra hand, there are plenty of porters to help. Smith Cove Cruise Terminal is just like an airport. Baggage is downstairs and check-in is upstairs. So when you get here, make sure your luggage has your luggage tags, drop it off at the baggage drop, then all you've got is your carry-on for check-in. It's easy. By the way, if you need a wheelchair for your cruise, you can rent one in the lobby. Head to the Cruise Concierge. They can help you with wheelchairs, maps, even store your bags. At the top of the escalator, you're going to go through security. It's just like the airport, so it's a great time to get your passport ready to show to the attendant. At this point, every cruise line boards differently. Your cruise line staff will let you know when it's time to board and start your cruise adventure. Once you're on the balcony, you get a great view of the ship being loaded. You'll see the luggage, supplies, and enough food and drink for a week. I've got a few tips for the end of your cruise. On your way back to Seattle, be sure to check in with guest services on board your ship. You can actually check in for your airline and get your boarding pass for your flight home. It's easy. They'll take your bags and deliver them straight to the airline. Because the Port of Seattle owns and operates SeaTac Airport, it's seamless. If you're getting picked up at the terminal, there's a free cell phone lot. Your family can wait there until you've got your bags. In the ground transportation lot, the banners overhead are numbered, so folks will know exactly where to find you. At the end of your cruise, if your flight is late in the day, consider visiting the cruise concierge. They'll keep your bags for the afternoon and you can sightsee. Seattle is just minutes away from the cruise terminal and you can see the sights without the hassle of your bags.